David Julie, the Ems Pub owner, tells me she finally feels like hope has been restored to her life. After months of uncertainty, she says Ems Pub is going to be back and even better than before. Uh, Standing inside their gutted dining room, three Ems Pub leaders discuss the future of their restaurant. Just seeing it all come together will be beautiful. January 9th is the one year anniversary of the fiery explosion that destroyed the restaurant and several other businesses on the corner of 11th and Howard. It was total devastation. That fire taking more than brick and mortar. I had been here for 36 years. I love Ems Pub, I love the old market. Um, I love my staff, everybody. Everybody's just, it's just a huge family and I terribly missed it. Ann Mellon, who's owned the pub for 30 plus years, tells me the accident took a piece of her heart, but she knew what she had to do for her customers and work family, bring M's back. I want them to think that it was never closed, that their M's pub is just the same as it was and it's, it's as, it, as it should be. Even down to the green marble bar and the font on the menu, and of course, the staff calling up her former head chef and general manager. That was like, all my dreams are coming true, you know? So there was no doubt in your mind? Oh, it's like going back home. Mellon says because a staircase has been moved, the dining room and patio will be slightly larger. The kitchen crew will get more space too, but the menu will look almost identical. All the old carrot cake, the whipped tiramisu, the carrot dog will stay. And while the materials will be new, staff members are hoping the atmosphere will feel as familiar as ever. It wasn't just a green marble bar, you know, and it wasn't just a tiny little kitchen. It was a lot of little things that made the staff be the way they were and then the customers feel the way they did. Mellon tells me they hope to be back up and running by this summer, maybe even as early as June. And yes, the name M's Pub is likely going to stay the same. That's wonderful news. Camilla, you mentioned that this went beyond just the M's Pub building, though. What's going on with the other businesses on that block? Yeah, David, I spoke to the owner of Nouvelle Eve. That's the boutique next door. She says she's eager to get inside and start remodeling and also hopes to be open this summer. We've also been in contact with the owners of Market House and Niche. They're in the 420 building, even a little bit further west there. Um, they're having some issues with asbestos and mold, so things are going a little bit slower for them, but they are also planning on being back.